Hello and welcome to your MESE lesson. I'm Claire. Today you're going to learn the what, the how, and the when of answering B past plus noun questions negatively. Let's start with what. What are these answers and statements used for? They are used to talk about past facts. For example, I wasn't a chemist. Good. Now let's learn how. How do you use these answers and statements? First, know how to conjugate be past using contractions. If you want to talk about yourself, please repeat. No, I was not. Good. Let's practice the more commonly used contraction. Please repeat. No, I wasn't. If you want to talk about me, no, you were not. Once more, using a contraction, no, you weren't. If you want to talk about Ed, no, he was not. Once more, using a contraction, no, he wasn't. If you want to talk about Carol, no, she was not. Once more, using a contraction, no, she wasn't. If you want to talk about us, no, we were not. Once more, using the contraction, no, we weren't. If you want to talk about them, no, they were not. Once more using the contraction, no, they weren't. It's very important to memorize this conjugation fluently before you start practicing video B. Next, study your vocabulary. For example, I wasn't an attorney a director, a producer. Remember, be sure to pronounce the an before nouns that begin with vowel sounds. For example, I wasn't a director. I wasn't an attorney. Finally, to build a more specific answer, you can use an adjective. For example, I wasn't a party host a gracious host, a kind host. So finally, when do you use these answers and statements? You use them to talk more about people's occupations. For example, I wasn't a principal. I wasn't a dean. I wasn't a representative. Or personalities. For example, I wasn't a devil. I wasn't an angel. I wasn't a slob. Or hobbies. For example, I wasn't a dog breeder. I wasn't an amateur filmmaker. I wasn't a poker player. Excellent. Now, let's review. First, what are negative, be, past, plus, noun, Answers and statements used for. They are used for talking about past facts. Second, how do you use these answers and statements? You use them by knowing the conjugation of be past and building a more specific answer with the vocabulary. Third, when do you use these answers and statements? You use them to talk more about people's occupations, personalities, and hobbies. Well done! Let's move on to video B to really practice making your own answers. Remember to keep on reviewing your vocabulary. I'm Claire and I'll see you back here soon.